This is Caitlin, my daughter. Um, for my birthday, I got the KitchenAid adapter for the spiralizer, and I'm excited to use it. Um, we saw it on YouTube after I woke up from work today, and you had to go get it. So um, let me just open this up. So it's got like a magnetic, which is really kind of cool, storage container. So be careful, don't just rip it open when you get it. It's got like a little user guide. Get spiralizing. That's what we're gonna do. Um, and that's about it. That it tells you how to put it together. And then I'm gonna just open this up this way. So it's really nice. You got all your different blades, and there's like little pictures to tell you what it does. And yes. yeah. peeler. Yep, a peeler. This is the peeler, and these are like the cuts. And then this is what you stick it on, and this looks like the adapter, so let's try it out. Put it on, it was really easy to put on. Um, and we're gonna try our homegrown zucchini. We had to cut it off because it couldn't be too long. So let's go ahead and try. Because you just stick it right there. Okay. There you go. And there's like these claws at the end that kind of grab it. And we are gonna use a double. Yeah, so it's like two little squiggly lines. We don't. We're, we're just gonna try it out. We don't know. <laughs> so according to this, you just stick it in. Stick it up. They kind of line it up to where the middle part is. We saw that on another thing. Yeah. Make sure that it's in the middle of the vegetable, I guess. That makes a difference. Oh, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Alright. No, that's it. Tap right here. These are the little grooves that it just kind of goes down, and so it stacks. So you have like this much left of every vegetable or fruit you try to do. Mm. She's eating it. But look, look, look. So that is so cool. Like you could just put this in like a salad, or like cook it up for like spaghetti. It looks really good. And look, that's, that's awesome right there. That's like spaghetti. Have fun. Yeah, this is a little um, weird, but it makes sense. But and then you just put that out and you can put this in. Ta da! Yay! Okay, another vegetable. Kini was cool. So then there's a peeler and a slicer, which is really cool because I make homemade mashed potatoes all the time and I have to like mm -hmm. big production just to skim like a whole big old bag of potatoes. So um, this is the peeler, and it goes in just like underneath, snaps in. And here is the slicer, it has this part for the core. That's for the apple. That's for the apple decor. Well, we're not gonna do, are we doing an apple now? Yeah, we're oh, doing sure. an apple. And you hear it clicking, and then it'll stick it. Spike. And you want to try to center it, I think. Hold 
There we go. I just need more muscle. <laughs> okay, and then you bring it in. Try to make it in the center. It's kind of in the core. And then this kind of locks it in, so the grooves have to lock in for it to really work. So I guess I should go in deeper. Right there. And you want to increase the And it's thing. locked in. Okay, you so let's try. Yep. Go ahead. still have this thing. It's like a middle of the Yep, that's a good point. You're very good. All right. You want to do it this time? Okay. Just put it on like two. Yeah. That's four. Look <laughs> a little. You can go fast. I guess they said depending on your vegetable and fruit. So I don't know what that means. Here's if it's... an applesauce. Yep. And here's all the skin. You can see. Ooh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> So like, I guess I should have cut off the first part of it like they suggested, but I didn't. <laughs> so the first part of it is not... Look at that boy. Not skin, but look, it's peeled, and look at the, the it's like barely shaved off. That's like wonderful. And I don't have an apple slice. Okay, hold on. So it's accordion. <laughs> Whoop, and I broke it. And then they said, all you have to do if you want like, Slices instead of like the spiral it did. You just cut it on one side and you have slices. Look, that is gonna be awesome from like apple pie or throwing a ring toss. No, but seriously, <laughs> it's like the perfect size. So now we can make apple pie really well. So get ready for the apple pie. That is cool. That's it. And then to take it off, they say always remove. That's the core. I don't know how this one works. Oh, you have to like. Oh, wait. You have to get it out. Out first. They said to remove it. Hey, everybody. So we did the uh, sweet potato, which was really cool. Look. Now that's like fries and a half. Or <laughs> what they suggest, they say to like you could cook them and make it into you can just like mix it with some like light vinegar and make a salad out of it. But my boys looked at it and they're like, oh, curly fries. So <laughs> that's where my family goes. <laughs> All right, so oh, this is this is a trial attempt. It does not recommend tomatoes. It does not not recommend tomatoes. So this is what we're just gonna try. I don't know. Here we go. This is the slicer. We did the slicer one. Okay, so if I would say, this is about right for when I try to do the tomato, and this is, but look, look at all these pretty slices. That works. I mean, can you use them in BLTs? BLTs, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. So that's the tomato. This is a sweet potato, and what we did is we took this little attachment part off first, and stuck it in the potato, and I think that's better, because that way you can see where the center of the potato is. Okay, so this attachment is one that I'm really, really curious because I make homemade mashed potatoes every year and it takes forever. So we didn't cut it. We're going to see if it works, but it's just the peeler. So let's see if it peels a potato. Not as well. No, I think it needs to be cut to hold it. Yeah. Well, it's doing pretty good, but... Like, but cut potatoes are good too for mashed potatoes. All right, let's stop it and let's do the cutter too. So take two, um, we put the slicer or the spiral one on and that's fine when you make mashed potatoes. So let's see how well it does now. A lot better. Hold 
the string so you don't get the peel in with the potato. Mm. Mm, of course. Like, yeah. And you could cook potato spirals. It's the same. It actually just, might be even faster. And it's like the staircase one. Uh-huh. It's funny. So we don't recommend using the peeler by itself. Use the any cutter with it. No, and I don't think they recommend it either, but... That's it. Oh gosh, you gotta do it. Show them. Let's see the slinky machine. The slinky. It's really heavy. <laughs> you got it? Got it. Okay, everybody, uh, we're gonna slice a cucumber. So, this is what I was talking about before. So, you take the, the base part of it and you spike it like in the middle of the cucumber of your fruit. And you don't have to, but. I really make sure it's in there. <laughs> and then you just put it on. Looks like it's too big. It is too big. So you gotta make sure it's the right size. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Baby. I think it might still be too big. Alright, one more slice. Alright, here we go. That's good. That's good. When you put it in, oh, we need to play with it. We need to play with it. Hold on. Did not measure it well. In the video that we saw on YouTube, they said the person said that you can play with it to get it in. Right. So that's what we're saying. So you gotta make sure it's right in the middle of the actual vegetable for it to come out really well. I think that's that's about well right there. Okay. And then you just move it in. You just want to make, and if you see the grooves, you want to make sure that the clamp is an actual one groove. And Katie wanted to do the arms. What she did, she just turned it off and just pulled it off. And there you go. And you have this little core of seeds, which whatever. <laughs> that was supposed to be make you farty, so that's good. It oh. defarts a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this back to where it looks so okay. Well, there you go. And there the you go. Is All right, it's twisted. It's twisting. So there you go. Really though, if you, if you look at it. It's like perfect slices. And like they said before, if you want slices, not spirals, cut down the middle. Okay, you, got, you, you got slices. You can do this. You can put some on your eyes. There you go. Okay, so in our house, we're a big um, summer meat sausage. Eaters. Yeah, we're meat eaters in our house. <laughs> so this one is a summer sausage. <laughs> And we're going to see if it works. So we don't know at all how this is going to work out. So here we go. Oh, it's actually doing pretty good. It is doing pretty good. We have some summer sausage cookie fries. Summer sausage and <laughs> fried <laughs> pigtails. <laughs> Summer sausage definitely slices. And since you don't have Never, like, you're gonna go to a party and be ready to go, wow, how'd you get them so perfectly cut? You'd be like, is that like restaurant quality? No, it's DiGiorno. 
I'm just kidding. All right. Go with that. I like. There's the stuff. No, there's no stuff on the sausage. You still want the whole. You can eat the stem. All right. So then let's make it slices, okay? Let's break it. Wow. Let's see. Can you tell? Here, we'll just break it off here. Do the one side. There you go, perfect. Go in a cracker with some cheese or some earrings. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So there you go, sausage is success. Okay, everybody. So we're all done for now. Um, doing all the spiraling in our house. Um, so we're just gonna do a quick review, let you know what works, what didn't work, and what is awesome. So if you go here, um, this is our zucchini, our homegrown zucchini, which, hello, is sweet as anything. And this is the squash. Um, and we use the double squiggly line um, to do that. And it's like good consistency for, I would say spaghetti, or yeah. like a really nice salad. And then... Um, we have our sweet potatoes that has the one squiggly. And the one squiggly line. And it just makes it thicker. It's thicker, it's like fry size. <laughs> and then if you come over here, um, we did the apple slices. And this is the specific apple slice um, blade. And if you look at it, um, it's perfect slices. We did the, um, the, peeler the peeler as well with this one. It just goes on the bottom when you do it. And then I just want to point out that it's like a bigger core and it takes out all the core so you don't have any seeds or anything. And um, over here we have the slices. And we did, it looks like a little spiral slice looking. Yeah. It's, it's different, it's not squiggly, it's a spiral. Um, and the tomatoes worked out good. If you remember, there was like a little part of it was mush, but let's be real, if I did it this thin by hand, it'd be a lot mushier than that and more waste. Uh, cucumbers yeah. turned out great. Potato slices um, with the peeler. I'm gonna do this when I bake potatoes. Yeah, and the awesome, so awesome sausage slices. Hello, this is snack time at my house. Um, we also want to um, let you know what epically failed. <laughs> so we have our carrots and our peppers. Pepper was like too big and mushy and our carrots they weren't working too well they're like, like a way harder thing to do and it, they're flinging everywhere. they were flinging everywhere and like if you could tell they're like semi moon so if you want semi moon little decorations you can go for and it but highly look not like, recommended kind of look like the um, circle earrings they do I mean they're still edible but good so that's it for today. Um, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do this again with some other stuff because I'm addicted. So the KitchenAid spiralizer, definitely. Thumbs up from me, thumbs up from Caitlin. So it's a goodbye. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>